on air, I online, and on your smart speaker. Royal Copenhagen, open every day for breakfast, lunch, and dessert. Service by a highly qualified Over 270 locally owned centres servicing Australia since 1979. Hello, it's Matt Layton with you. Eight people have been rescued from dangerous blizzards and winds on the summit of Tasmania's Mount Wellington. State authorities have delivered an update a short time ago confirming another person has been stranded and an operation is underway. They've been caught short in the blustery and wintry conditions up there and we've now got search parties going in to find this particular lady uh, and I understand she's managed to make contact with us by mobile phone. Last night a woman was killed and a man left seriously injured after being struck by a tree in the state's northwest. A cyclist is fighting for life after a nasty crash in Queensland's Brizzy to the Bay events. The man, aged in his 40s, fell from his bicycle at high speed in Morningside earlier this morning. Australia has recorded its worst May on record when it comes to influenza cases. There were 65,770 cases, more than double the month's previous record set in 2019. And it's been all smiles and all pink as the youngest daughter of the Biloela family turns five. Tanika wore a tiara while the birthday girl marked her first milestone out of immigration detention. Family friend Angela Fredericks has told the ABC it's been a very special day for the community. Lots of the children here, for years they've been asking why are we having parties and the birthday girl's not here. So I feel like today they got to finally have that special day. What would you do with a dollar? Did you know that for every one dollar donated to Food Bank, two meals are created? Head to foodbank.org.au. North Melbourne and GWS feature at Marvel Stadium in today's standalone clash. Footy reporter Jay Clarks told us the Bruce fans must show out in force. They need double figures, I would have think. If this is a single figure crowd, then it's definitely embarrassing for the football club. And I know it's cold, and I know it's the middle of the long weekend, right? But the fans are voting with their feet right now. Wildcat star Bryce Cotton's been awarded Perth's most valuable player for the fourth time in his career. And Sri Lanka's avoided a T20 series whitewash by beating Australia by four wickets. More showers across the limestone coast into this evening. Down to six tonight, a shower two and 14 tomorrow. Showers increasing 14 Tuesday, showers 15 Wednesday. Our listener app is the new home of your local news. Join now to listen live or on demand.